Hey guys, welcome back to Windows XP video. So on this particular XP machine, I have cloned one of the other boxes that I was working on, the WSUS box, and specifically set it so that way I could show you a process where you could automate the Windows updates on an XP machine all the way to the 2021 releases of updates. That includes the point of sale, the embedded point of sale, and all of the updates to the 2021 revision of Windows XP. Now keep in mind, this still won't prepare you for everything. You'll still have to do some customizations um, and whatnot if you really wanted to try to secure Windows XP. And I should have the other video here shortly after I get my WSS box configured to finish out my Windows updates on the other XP machine. So for the sake of this video, what I decided we would do is I would show you specifically how it is to run a WSUS offline update. So in other words, say you just built yourself a Windows XP machine and your XP machine has no updates of any kind on it. But you want to run all of the updates on your Windows XP machine all the way to the 2021, including the embedded and the point of sale updates on your XP machine. And you want to do that without having to screw around with constantly going to the catalog and downloading the update or even installing a WSUS box to do it. You just want to run it from an ISO file. I'm going to show you how to do that. So on this particular machine, I have the ISO already mounted and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose open. And in here, we're going to see update, which is an update batch file. There's a command script in here. So we're going to run this. And what this is going to do is this is going to pull the IDs of all the missing updates on this Windows XP machine and provide me with a console so that way I could actually update the machine. Okay, so as we can see right now, we don't see any updates that are missing. So does this mean there's no updates available? Let's check that out. So in here, we're also going to see an update installer. And we're going to run that application. Okay, so the update application just finished. And you'll notice here that it says that we have no updates available. However, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually search for additional updates. So we know that we want the update the root certificate. We want to say update the DirectX runtimes. We're going to also going to say to install Microsoft Silverlight. Um, let's install .NET Framework 4. Uh, we don't need a framework management on this machine. Let's install the uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. Um, yeah, it's fine. Let's do that. Then we're going to also check, tell it to automatically reboot and recall. So what that means is that as it goes through the process to install the updates, if it requires a restart, it'll restart the system. And when it comes back up, as soon as you log back into the system, it will continue on updating it. So you don't have to constantly just double click on files over and over and over again. Um, we could also check for additional software. In this particular package that's put together, there is no additional software, but that's okay. We could also check if we wanted to show the log file before the reboot of each thing, or if you want to shut down the machine once it completes all the updates, you could choose that as an option too. But once you have the stuff selected that you want to update, you just click on Start, and the system will pull all these files from the ISO file that's located here in the system. Now, if you wanted to make custom ISOs to actually add to this, you can. You could grab the files off your WSUS server and actually export the uh, MSU files for the uh, Microsoft updates. And what that'll allow it to do is it'll allow it to continue to run the updates for uh, customized updates on your particular system using this piece of software. So this is going to continue to run, and this will run the updates for uh, and install the software on the machine. And once it finishes doing the updates and installing the software, once it hits a, a point where it requires a reboot, the system will just automatically reboot. And once it does, just log back into the system, and it will relaunch that command line and recontinue the updates and the, until the system has run out of updates available for it to apply. Like and subscribe for more videos. Check out in the description for the link to the software. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.